hello everyone in my previous video i have shown you how to create this chat interface for chatting with any of the local open source llms in this video i am going to show you and extend the capabilities of the chat a little more and with an advanced feature that is create having adding memory to the chatbot so if you see over here i have in the first question my I have asked who is Charlie Chaplin and then in my next question I did not say the name of the person I just said when did he die so it was able to understand my previous question is about Charlie Chaplin so it gave me the appropriate answer so if I type over here name two co-actors of his it should be able to give me the response. So it identifies that I am asking about Charlie Chaplin and so it gives me the name of Rosie Nelson and Mabel Norman who are two co-actors of Charlie Chaplin. So let's see how we can add memory and also in the title of the video I have said that it is about also about API creation of API so that we can serve these responses from the LLM as a res as a API response to other applications so before we start with the code just a request if you like the video like it subscribe to the channel and if you have any queries you can share it with me in the comment section i will try my best to answer them going back to our script in my previous video i have shown you that to create the interface i have used streamlit and it is the ui.py so over here i am just making a call to gen gen ai engine from the main script and i am passing the prompt of the user so which is the nothing but the query so this script remains the same and in addition to that small changes in the main script is what is required to add memory so there is something called conversation buffer memory which is again another library of langchain which we need to include over here so include these two libraries and the code is again will be available in the github i will share the link of the github repository in the description below check it out if you want and after that we need to create a prompt template so over here i have said that as an ai assistant answer the question provided as input and to give it a memory basically we have to provide our previous questions so over here in the template i am providing them as history so current conversation as an history, then the human input, which is the query from the user and the AI assistant response. Conversation buffer is another um, variable to instantiate conversation chain. And this conversation chain accepts three, more than three actually, accepts three different uh, parameters, which is LLM, our LLM, which we have instantiated before the prompt which is coming from the template so with this template we have also created the prompt temp we have used the prompt template library and passed the history and input uh, as two input parameters for this prompt and then the mem memory so memory will be you know adding the response from the llm as well as the query into a, a storage so that it uh, can you know when the next question is asked it can reply accordingly also we should be aware and uh, need to know that every llm has its own contextual uh, contextual uh, token limit so uh, once the contextual token limit uh, is bypassed we won't be able to i mean the chat uh, chatbot won't be able to understand the question so like for um, Llama 2, it is 8,000 tokens. So if our chat history basically 
crosses the 8000 then some of the uh, old uh, chats that we had will be forgotten by the by the model so we won't be able to uh, maybe go back to a very previous um, chat and understand and ask a contextual question so that's all the change that we need to do in the main script and as i showed you this um, main dot um, gen engine uh, gen ai engine is what we are calling and over here we are passing the query and getting the response and passing it on to the ui so that's it all that is required also apart from that using flask framework we can create easily an api risk point endpoint where we can you know um, ask our query and get the response from the server so over here i have created flask um, a simple very simple flask uh, program so we have app as flask and then a hello world and a root so this is the root and over here i have added query so the user needs to provide the query over here and again the in the response i am sending in the gni engine query so whatever response is coming back from main gni engine will be sent back as a response to the api endpoint let me show you how this is executed over here let me create one more So now my API endpoint is up and running. I can go to any browser and just check over here. Or I can just say localhost 8123 is the port who is Sherlock Holmes. So as you see, I have got back the response from the model and um, as an API endpoint server. So this Flask server is providing the API endpoint for the model. This way we can have our own APIs uh, for any model of our choice running on our local. But it takes its own sweet time because running these large language models on our local machine is not very fast but yeah we can have it in in our disposal we can experiment with it and explore different things so that is possible hope you find it interesting and useful and if you like the video like it subscribe to the channel that's all for today signing off thank you